one Twins way in Minneapolis. Welcome inside Target Field. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get underway and on the hill the big righty Pablo Lopez. What do we have on him. Well this guy's got sort of a tweener not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve it's in between and he adds and subtracts velocity on it which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing Maybe they need the to be successful and into the box for Baltimore Gunnar Henderson Henderson the why to kick the pitch inside corner that's a strike and away we go this afternoon First pitch, one o'clock. And that one hit to first, and that's a fair ball. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. Here's Adley Rutschman. And a good eye there. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Kicks and fires. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Checks his swing, appeal to third, and Joe McDonald says he won around. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. Good job to fight that one off. Right hander kicks deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good VLO. And a one two. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Righty delivers. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Anthony Santander at the plate. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Man at first, one away. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Calls it in, two away. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Uh, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent pop. Just missed. Throw over to first. He's Henderson safe. back on a dive. At the belt and fires. And it's fouled away. Oh. 
And a pitch. Just nope. missed. It's a good take. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Buxton sizing it up and makes the play and that's out number three. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. The Twins coming up. No score. Back in Minnesota and getting the start for Baltimore Corbin Burns. Well he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix so for him it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings look out hitters it's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Bottom of the first and now for the twins Edouard Julien. Here comes a pitch. That one fouled off. The 01. And that one fouled off. And here it comes. Wouldn't chase that time. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. No, oh, there's a small oh, sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One out, base is empty. Oh. Next offering Damn. is downstairs. Hey. And that one clips the corner. Foul ball still a one and two count. One down base is empty. And a foul ball he stays alive. And the pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Two outs, space is empty. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Byron Buxton. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. Timing on the swing was good. Not Able cool. to shoot the ball up the middle. Right. Didn't square it up as much as he right. probably would have liked, but yep. that's a good approach paying off. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now batting Max Kepler. Help, one and, oh. and a pitch out, but nothing going on. Two outs. This one chopped to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for Minnesota. Scoreless after one.
Back at target field. New inning getting started. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Mullins. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That one inside. And that's ball one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most players are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's into scoring position with a leadoff double. Maybe a chance for our first run here. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Throw to second, save. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. And that one hops the wall. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Picks himself up in RBI. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And now it's Austin Hayes. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. That's in there. That's strike one. Just missed. Ground ball up the middle. Throw not in time, and he's safe. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Jorge Mateo now. First pitch, not close. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. The shortstop takes the ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And he deals. No. In fact. Mountcastle on third. Hayes on at first with nobody out. Change up on the corner at the knees. It's a good spot with the 3-0 pitch right there. You don't want to lay something in and it turns out to be a homer. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Buxton makes the catch. Runner tags from third. He's in on the sack fly. It's 2-0. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. And next for the Orioles, Jordan Westberg. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Out towards right center field. And that gets down into the gap. Hayes coming around third. He'll score easily. And they lead by three. Everything came together for him. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one.
So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. That clips the zone. Strike one. Gunnar Henderson was the unanimous choice for American League Rookie of the Year in 2023. Got off to a slow start, but finished the season with 28 homers, playing as the Orioles' everyday shortstop. You know, Adley Rushman nearly won the award in 2022. The future is bright for the Orioles. Man at second. One Not ball. close with that right. one. And the count one and two. Henderson became the first Orioles player to win Rookie of the Year since Cal Ripken Jr. did it in 1982. Oh, it only took Gunner one season to start doing things the Orioles haven't seen done since Cal was playing on the team. And another ball. One out and a runner at second. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I haven't been in many games as a fan. In the air to left down the line. And that's a foul ball. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Santana. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. The catcher, number 35. Adley. And now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. Caught looking his first time up. Just missed. They had a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That pitch gets the inside corner. And the count, one and two. Already three runs across in the frame here at the top of the second. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. This to third. Lewis gathers and throws to first. Rutschman retired. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Orioles three, and the Twins nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now Correa up to hit. Not shortstop. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The right-hander back to work. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. Slider clips the corner. Not even close there. Yeah, the count one and two. And the right-hander deals. Two and the one-two two misses strikes. to even the count. Kicks and deals. Ah. And down on strikes. One out. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third. That and that pitch it. finished. The first right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. And uh, and now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. First pitch misses. The Twins trailing by three. Bottom half of inning number two.
swings and misses. Two gone now. Matt Waller, the next twin up to him. And the slider just misses. Two out spaces empty. Next That's offering bolded. upstairs. Two and out. And that's in the dirt. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Next offering is in for a strike. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And a pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. chase that time maybe losing command a little bit after the walk next pitch not even close right down the chute and it's one and one goodness I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat you don't get many like that in that location I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound Two outs. Popped up. Westberg under this one. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Orioles three, and the Twins nothing. Back here with my pal Ziggy. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Anthony Santander. Santander. The wind and the pitch. Just missed. You know, these Orioles doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They're hitting everything thrown at them. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now. Those numbers are well above the major league average. That one's in there. Two balls, two strikes. Bounce to the left side. Lewis throws the first. And one away in the top of the third. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. He's 0 for 1. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And a foul ball. That clips the corner. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. That's the second out. So next to hit for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins doubled his first time up. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he oh, hasn't one, been down. very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. 
Nothing doing for the offense that time. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Orioles three and the Twins nothing. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's the DH, Alex Kirilov. Burns back to work. That's inside. And that is ball one. And that's too high. And there's the strike. Two balls, one strike. Just off the outside edge. And yeah, there's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Julian batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late. No ball, two strikes. Struck him out looking. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence, everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. Here's Royce Lewis. His first at bat was a strikeout. And a foul ball. Boog, anytime we broadcast a game with Burns pitching, we expect to see a lot of strikeouts. His ability to fool hitters, it's a real gift, man, and he generates swings and misses thanks to that filthy slider of his. The best way to hit that slider is just don't miss the fastball. Ball. And ball one. One and one. Kirilov over at first with one away. The one one is fouled off. On its way to the corner, and that's a foul ball. The pitch. And that's now it's two. even up. Two, two, two. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. The throw to third. In there oh, safely. In there. The batter, the center fielder, Byron. Here's Byron Buxton. Buxton. And he's already singled in this game. That's First offering one. misses badly for ball one. That one drifts inside. There's a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. And that'll load the bases. 
Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. So the bases are loaded here, one gone. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Max Kepler, grounded out his first time. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. The pitch. Ground ball right side. Fires to second for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Well, now here's Carlos Correa with a chance to hit. There's the strike at the knees. Runners on first and third, two away here in the last half of the third. Oh, and two now. Hit connect on the curveball struck him out. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Three innings complete. It's the Orioles three and the Twins one. Out of the fourth, here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. The pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance-wise. Yeah, Boo, great pitchers like this. You may get one opportunity in one ah. inning to get to them, to get some runs up on the board. We'll and if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And one out now. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, oh, all Warriors. strikes. He wasn't Don't even able to foul one off. All There's not in. much you can take away Three. from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. He's got to have better timing on the fastball next time. And that one pulled foul. Righty to the plate. Ball one. Strike. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And into the box for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. And there's a foul ball. Righty delivers. And that's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Two consecutive base oh, hits for these good. guys here. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Jordan Westberg now at the plate. And this one could be extra bases. Hayes coming around third. One run is in. Julian with a relay home. He scores as well. It's 5-1. Nicely done. Brings home two. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Now the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, 
And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And now the catcher comes up to him. Adley Rutschman. And that one fouled off. Man on second, two down. He's trying for third. Out at third. And that ends the inning. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now 5-1. Back in Minnesota, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Carlos Santana. Santana. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and it's one to no. Well, these twins showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Ball to strike. Swings through that one. Generally, one second, third Two time strike. through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And they'll do it again. Right-hander kicks, deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Kicks and fires. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Pretty nasty cutter right there. And you're seeing oh, that pitch, win. that location a no lot more win. these days. And you can see why. Very difficult for hitters. I think the great Mariano Rivera can at least partially be credited for that thanks to the career he had with the cutter. It was just dominant. I tell you what, I felt like it was a moral victory whenever I could put that pitch in play. So I can feel for the guy right Hold there the walking back to the dugout. And that is in for a strike. 0 and 2. The Orioles leading by four. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there and I don't mean to laugh but that's a now tough one I mean pretty much a perfect oh, yeah. strikeout pitch I mean it looks like a fastball middle in kind of has cutter action and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it and not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it line drive and that should be extra bases Around first and hustling for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Man at second here with two away. Here's Alex Kirilov. He walked and came around to score his first time up. And a good eye there. And the righty deals. On the ground to third. Fires over to first. Inning over. Twins wind up stranding one. They're down 5 1.
And we're back. Now the number two hitter, Adley Rutschman. Adley Rutschman. The why to kick the pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. You know, these Orioles, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard a lot. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Cody Funderburg on a pitch out of the pen here. Now well, they didn't get much the length out of their starter in this Number one, so 55. they've got a lot of outs to eat Kobe. up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Now it's the right fielder, Anthony Santander. There's a swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. A little bit high, maybe. And now it's even one and one. Line to left. And it goes just foul. Man, it's second. And another ball. The 2 2 on the way. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And it's caught for the out. And now the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Now batting, the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. First pitch swinging. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Rock Stewart getting loose out there. The pitch. Good eye right there. Rutschman leads off second with one gone in the inning. And that's off. The inside edge. Two and one. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3 1 count. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second, and he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Man at second with one away. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. In there at the knees. That's strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. All right, twins. Line drive, caught! That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't now produce back. a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And next for the Orioles, Ryan Mountcastle. Fought off foul. Runner at second, two down. Oh. 
Pitch misses. One and two to count. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The one two. Next offering is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two outs. And downstairs. Out to short, Correa. Tosses to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. The O's add one on an RBI double, and this is now a 6-1 ball game. Back at target field, bottom of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these twins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. At the belt and fires. One and ball, one and two. Two strikes. Let's do it, Twins. And ah. down on strikes he goes. One gone here. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Here's the third baseman, Royce Lewis. That one, one missed. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Just oh, missed. And another ball. And it's ball four. He missed down low. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Were we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence is the present. Byron Buxton, the next to hit. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass, looking for the sack bunt. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so hey. much fun to watch. And that's in for a strike. And he deals. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. Oh and you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Kepler Aye. in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. No, Over to first, and he's safe. There's a swing and a drive. 
Mullins going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. One left for Minnesota. The lead remains five. It's six one. Back here with my we pal Siggy. All right, we go to the top half of Austin inning number six. Hayes. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. The pitch. In the air, right field, Kepler settles under it. Puts it away for the out. The batter. The shortstop. So next to Jorge hit for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. Mateo. Let's go, twins. And a foul ball. Oh. That one off the mark, and it's a ball to strike. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Next for the Orioles, Jordan Westberg. Counts one and oh. In the dirt, and the runner holds. Pitchers always face a dilemma trying to figure out how to attack this guy. He went with the breaking ball right there. But it feels like that approach might be playing with fire. He loves to go after pitches with a wrinkle in it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Man, he really turned on that one. Absolutely ripped it towards third, but quick cat-like reflexes down there at the hot corner to bring it down. Now at the plate, Gunnar Henderson. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And that's in the dirt. And that's ball one. Trying to get him to chase on the changeup that time. Mateo at second with two down. Pop up here, third base side. Correa makes the catch, and that'll do it. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Orioles six, and the Twins one. Bottom of the sixth Three inning, off. and now for the Twins, twins. Carlos Correa. Carlos Correa. Here comes a pitch. That's through there for a strike. Oh, Honestly, it's the best pitch in baseball, strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. There's a little bit more confidence to move through the at-bat. 0-1 oh, now. Right through there for a strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. And here's the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Swing and a foul straight back. And here it comes. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. The Orioles leading by five here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. 
And next for Minnesota, Matt Walmer. A strikeout and a walk. First pitch, and he just misses. Just missed. That one misses. Three balls and a strike. Three balls, one strike. He swings and fouls one off. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing here this half. We're through six full. It's the Orioles six and the Twins one. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the seventh. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. And the pitch. That one inside. One and oh. Some movement in the Twins bullpen. Brock Stewart warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Kicks and deals. That clips the corner. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And foul ball. The pitch. What? Gets a piece and stays alive. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And a pitch. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. The pitch. The other way. Santana steps on first for the out. Now batting right fielder Anthony Santander. And now the right fielder Anthony Santander. On the outside corner, it's 0-1. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Eight. Way Eight. out front for strike two. Oh, it normally does strikes. damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. One that ball. one almost got him. Two strikes. Trying to get him to chase on the change up that time. Still just the second batter of the inning and on the mound he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. And now the lefty. And down on strikes. Now two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Ryan O'Hearn. One for three. Swing and a ball popped up, and it falls. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. 
Now batting the center field. So digging in, Cedric, Cedric Mullins. Mullins. Ground ball right side, and that chance handled. Got him on the oh. off balance throw. And they get Mullins for the out. And that is that. One left for the Orioles. They still lead it though, 6 1. Back in Minnesota, set for the last half of the seventh. And here's the catcher, Brian Jeffers. Burns back to work. And he's been really good, about to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. And the right hander deals. Foul ball there. Owen oh 2 now. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. A big performance on the mound. Now Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Kirilov. Oh, now in the, the box. Count. Comes up empty with a swing there. The Orioles leading by five here at the bottom of the seven. One That's ball, inside. Two strikes. Got him swinging. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just oh, dominating the these hitters. He the doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. That one to first. Can't feel it cleanly. Still able to get it there in time. And they do get the third out. The inning is over. Down go the Twins in order. They trail it 6 1. Brock Stewart taking over on the mound. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but. He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. For the Orioles. And now the DH, Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. Let's go, Twins! Let's go, Twins! The pitch. That one, one not close. Ball one. Right-handed reliever. Pitch nope, misses there. And now 2-0. Oh. And a good eye there. And a four-pitch walk. Perfect. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Jay Jackson warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. corner for a strike. Mountcastle on at first. Nobody out. And there's a ball. Two balls, one strike. Righty to the plate. 
Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Struck him out swinging. Pulled the string of the changeup. Man at first. Now it's the shortstop, Jorge Mateo. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. That one close, ruled a ball. And that's ball one. The shortstop takes a ball. And a pitch. Right and that's a little bit high. And the count is filled up. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Here's the second baseman, Jordan Westberg. The second baseman, Jordan Westberg. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Just a simple soft liner in the center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pitch, but he did a good job of staying through it, and that allowed him to fight it off and just get enough behind it. Henderson in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Two on, two outs. Ball two balls, two. no strikes to count. Two balls, no strikes. Righty delivers. Whoa, that one yeah. misses, and it's 3-0. and oh. Adley Rutschman to bat next. First and second, two down, and we're in the top of the eighth. There's a strike. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Now batting. Two outs, bases loaded. So next to hit for Baltimore, Adley Rutschman. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Two outs. Bases are full. There's a strike. Up the middle. Correa. They get the force out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Orioles six and the Twins one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Dylan Tate. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And now for the uh, Twins, the Royce Lewis. Oh, Wind in the pitch. 
swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right, right there. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Now a chance for Byron Buxton. That one fouled off. Deal one. Next offering one misses play. down and away. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Mike Bauman preparing to come on if needed. The 1-1. One, one. Foul ball. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Fights it off. You'll see another. And he deals. And that's and off two. the inside edge. And now it's three and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Popped up. Mateo has a beat on it. Makes the catch for the out. Now batting. The right fielder. Matt. Kepler. Max Kepler at the plate. In for a strike, going one. Good eye in that spot. I got one ball, one strike. Lewis leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Breaking ball inside. The count now two and two. that one down the line and that's just foul right hander kicks deals line drive fair ball lead runner makes the turn at second lead runner holds at third so two runners in scoring position and just one out they got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Here's Carlos Correa. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Outside, that's Just the ball. missed. Two on, one out. And there's a foul ball. On, the pitch. On the ground to third. Now two away as they get a run across. So two down now, and here is Carlos Santana. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Two outs, and one in scoring position. And a foul ball.
Here comes a pitch. Aye. Battling here as he fouls it away. And here it comes. Fouls it off, still one and two. The Orioles leading by four here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. And another ball. Man on second, two down. Three ball, two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. And the pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And that's ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, CNL Perez. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. CNL Perez. Now the left fielder, Matt Walmer. And that's in there at the knees. That misses. And one and one. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. And now two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Ryan Jeffers next to bat for Minnesota. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And that one is lifted in the air. Mullins sizes this one up. He's there. He's got it. And that is the inning. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Through eight full, it's the Orioles six and the Twins two. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Steven Oker. Number 16. Steven. Anthony Santander getting ready to hit. Well, both Anthony sides equally Santander. as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Lifted in the air, right field. That one hops against the fence. Now he turns and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across.
So now the Orioles cleanup hitter Ryan O'Hearn. Nope. First pitch doesn't the find the zone. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Some movement in the Twins bullpen. Jay Jackson, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Not even close there. Now two balls and a strike. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Rip to short. And he baits it. That's a hit. Great try there. Oh, that's a really tough play no matter who you are, but I think he has a chance to get him at first if he's just able to get that throw off a little quicker. It looked like he took one extra step to set himself and get a grip on the ball. Cedric Mullins will hit next. Inside and it hit him. And now the bases are loaded. Lefty on lefty matchup, and sometimes you know you can be on roller skates a little bit where you're quickly wanting to get out of the way, but the other times are you're saying probably safer if I just try to get a fat part of my body on the baseball and won't hurt as much. Mountcastle stands in here, takes ball one low. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. One runs in. The second run scores, and it's now a six-run lead. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Jay Jackson. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Now, Austin Hayes. Yeah. Late on that fastball. 0 and 1. The 0 1. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Three. Caught him looking for the K. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0 2 count just to pour it back. The batter will be the shortstop, Jorge Mateo. And first offering is fouled off. Traffic on the bases with two already in to score here at the top of the ninth. And the slider just misses. Correa, the underhand flip. They out. take the force out, out on the underhand toss. But safe at first, it's a fielder's choice. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. And that's in for a strike. 
Mullins at third. Mateo at first. Two out of the inning. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. To second, but way too late. Safe there. Struck him out, inning over, and it could have been worse. So two runs on three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. 8-9-1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Orioles eight and the Twins two. Bottom of the nine, here's the catcher, Ryan Jeffers. The pitch. All one there. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. And another ball. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Outside. Right side, hard hit. On to O'Hearn. One out, bottom of the ninth. Up next to the twin. The designated hitter. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. Swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And the 0-2. Bows it back with two strikes. One down, base is empty. To third. And it stays fair. All over that one right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Julian, the next to hit, takes ball one. And a pitch. And that one hit 97 on the gun. The Twins, with a lot of ground to make up, we're in the last half of the ninth inning. And it's fouled away. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. On the ground, could be two. Mateo over to second, and it's a double play to end the ball game. Well, Summon from the bullpen had to come in, get a big out, and then had a little time to think about it before he went back out to get the final three outs of this ball game. Nonetheless, outstanding job to get the save and secure the win for his team. 8-2 the final here as the Orioles win this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.